you uh, you'd mentioned that uh, you had a friend that had a swimsuit company. Uh, you might you said you worked with wedding dress companies. So, in is it a balance in your shoots, or is it a majority of like you're you're working you're finding a clothing company or some sort of fashion company to shoot their articles on models, or is it oftentimes you talk to a model and say, here's the concept for a shoot, and and they style it. Like how does how do you accomplish that? It's both really. I mean, as I said, you've got with the with the advent of Sheen online since Instagram or since Instagram, sorry, since I since the um, pandemic, when people were going online buying stuff. I mean, I remember sitting there one day going, you know what? I, I and again, I'm a guy. I shouldn't. I would. There's no stereotypes anymore. But I'm just saying, I went looking through Sheen and I was thinking to myself, wow, look at that dress. Oh, look at that dress. That would be nice. And I wound up buying a few of them. And the next day, you got to could say to somebody, say, you know, I got this dress. You can have the dress if you want. Mm -hmm. I need about an hour. I want to do this. I've got this idea in my head. Would you like to do it? And a lot of times, you know, it worked for simple ones, not mm -hmm. for anything kind of very conceptual. But you have, um, yeah, I mean, like, as I said, I, I, I would have put my name out there and asked. I went to a couple of bridal shows a couple of years ago and then I got in with a with a wedding dress manufacturer with a wedding dress designer and with a wedding dress shop and I sort of said can we can we shoot this dress and can we shoot that dress and yeah we can do that and um that became nice and then I found as I said I asked a buddy of mine who was starting up a swimwear company in 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 Florida but didn't they didn't last very long but I mean it, it was on he was doing all right for a couple of years with it um, and I said, can I take, again, as I explained earlier, and uh, we did a few shoots for them, concept concept shoots for them, and front, back, side, that kind of thing, and they made their way on the catalogs. I've made a couple of wedding um, wedding dress and um, bridesmaid dresses that have made it into wedding magazines, stuff like that. I've been published in a couple of magazines, but it's it's pretty much from putting myself out there saying, look, you know, I have this idea. Can we use this dress? And they allow me to do that. And then mm -hmm. I give them the images and then I get a little bit of work out. Of it. You know, as I said, we've, I've gotten probably five or six paid, you know, nice shoots from, from stuff that I've done for companies that are and I've had some published work out of it as well, which is nice mm -hmm. as well. Again, my nine to five job Monday to Friday and a little bit on Saturday is what pays my bills and it does my thing. The, the photography ended for me very much a hobby, but I, if I could change it to a seven day a week job, I would definitely do that. But I don't even know if I'd be really good. I, I'm my own, I'm my own worst critic. Mm. So, you know, I, I, I look at some of the stuff that, and again, Instagram is an awful lot to answer for, for that too, because you put up an image and it doesn't get well received and you think to yourself, Oh God, did I over edit it? Is it bad? Is it too dark? Is it too light? Did I not do it right? Is this not the thing I should have done? Oh crap. And you start to overthink your, you start to overthink all this crap and it really has an awful lot to do. No, it could very well be a shit photo part. Sorry, excuse me, a crap photograph, <laughs> but you know, but Instagram doesn't do an awful lot to help you because when you put something up there that you think is crap, that does well and you put something up there that you absolutely love and it doesn't get well received. <laughs> it has to do an awful lot more with algorithm than it does with anything else, but it still does get very, and again, I'm, I'm probably one of the first people to say, don't let small shit bother you. Sorry. Again, don't let small <laughs> shit bother you. But if you know, I, 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 again, I'm here doing it myself because I even, I post up an image and next thing all of a sudden it gets like 60 or a hundred likes and you're kind of going, okay, nobody liked that one. 